Hey everybody, you looking at the Doogie S80? So yes, this is yet another bulky, big battery, rugged phone out of Doogie, the um, phone maker out of southern China that pumps out a lot of phones. Seems like there's a phone every other week. So you notice right off the bat the difference. This phone has this thing sticking out. This is an antenna. That's because this phone has walkie-talkie capabilities and it is Doogie's first phone to have walkie-talkie capabilities. So you can see right here, there's an app. All you have to do is find a frequency channel and you can speak into it. So um, you might have noticed already this red text right here. That's because this is an engineer sample. This is a prototype device. So this phone is not quite ready yet. And you cannot get rid of this red text. It's just there all the time. But, you know, that doesn't concern most viewers. Because if you were to buy this phone later when it comes out, who knows when it will come out. It definitely won't have that. But right now... I'm not going to fully reveal this phone because this phone is just not finished. The red text is there the whole time. Fingerprint reader doesn't work. There's just no option to set it up right now. But oddly, face unlock works. So as you might have just saw, I unlocked it on my face. So I'll try it again. So yeah, face unlock is working fine. Otherwise, there's also pin unlock, but the fingerprint reader doesn't work. You can't get rid of this red text. Some of the apps do work, though. I ran Geekbench already. 850 single core. 3394 multi-core we'll check out device info so this thing runs on a helio p23 with supposedly a 10,000 milliamp hour battery supposedly it runs android 8.1 so as you can see it's a very clean version of android 8.1 and the display it's a six inch panel 18 by 9 aspect ratio um pretty decent quite quite vibrant in my opinion um, it's it's a decent panel. Colors are a little bit muted, not as vibrant as I like. But this is not a phone that you buy for looks. This is obviously a rugged phone you take to camp, go camping and rock climb and all that. So the point of this phone is, you have a walkie-talkie. So that's good if your friend also has the same phone that you can use it to communicate with each other or in short range frequency. So you don't have to rely on data, um, like you know three G or four G networks. And that means if you're if you're camping too, this would be good if you get stuck and you need to call for help. So a lot of emergency channels, you can summon them if you know the frequency. So you should look all that up before you go. So this will let you communicate with people even if there are no reception in your area. So um, you see on the right side, it's volume rocker and a power button. And on the left side, these two buttons that um, right now it's not set up yet. And that's what this is for. So one of them... Apparently, it's going to be a Google Assistant button. So you press the button to launch Google Assistant. I'm just guessing from the words here, which calls a Google key. And then you have this button here, which I assume it's, it's to um, call like an emergency services. It actually in the settings, it hints at it. So maybe if you long press it, it will send an SOS signal out to um, whatever emergency settings you have set up. So um, I did the unboxing earlier outside so it wasn't quite a full unboxing video but you know it's very bare bones packaging not much to unpack anyway the only difference is there's this oops sorry <laughs> sorry the only difference is there's, there's this in the box here this is a doogie fifth anniversary pin so this is uh doogie's fifth anniversary so congrats to doogie but uh, i apologize at the same time i'm gonna have to call you guys out a little bit so this is a phone they sent me, and really, I don't know why they sent it to me right now, because I can't review this. It, it doesn't work. Fingerprint reader doesn't work. Um, the camera software isn't finished, although I took a couple of sample photos, and so far, it looks okay. Like, this is a pretty lively shot, actually, but the camera sample just is a little bit buggy, and the red text is right here, so it's not finished, but they sent it to me anyway, and who knows how long this phone's going to take before it finishes. The reason I'm saying this is because... So this past February, I went to the Mobile World Congress in Spain. So Mobile World Congress is the world's biggest smartphone event, probably number one or number two biggest up there with the iPhone launch. And at Mobile World Congress, everybody, every tech publication is there. So like the Verge, we have people there, you know, Android Authority, we have people there. And I'm always there by myself because I'm like a one-man team. So I'm there on behalf of Forbes and also my YouTube channel and these are the sites that I write for. So it's always a very stressful event for me because I have to run around different launch events um, while everyone else has a team. So Doogie invited me to the event called, um, they, they called it the Doogie V launch. 
you might have heard of it, um, the Doogie V, which was like an iPhone 10 like all screen phone with a un in display fingerprint reader. So they invited me to the Doogie V launch. And I went there. The first hour was just Doogie kind of talking about its history and introducing upcoming phones such as the Doogie Mix 3 and the Doogie Mix 4. And these phones have really crazy um, designs. Like the Doogie Mix 4 is supposedly a completely transparent phone. And the Doogie Mix 3, it's a slider phone. I think. I think um, Mr. Who's the Boss even made a video of the Doogie Mix 3, like a prototype of it. But anyway, so the first hour was just that, nothing about the Doogie V. And then finally, they introduced the Doogie V via a bunch of photos, and then that was it. The, the, the phone was not ready. At the event, there wasn't even an actual prototype for me to hold to play with. So I was a little bit frustrated because phone launch events, you know, I've been to several of them. I've been to a lot of them, actually. Phone launch events are usually events that unveil a phone that is already finished and ready to go on sale within like a couple of weeks, maybe a month at most. And usually after the event, the phone will be available at the, at the booth, at the launch venue where you can immediately play with the phone and have impressions of it. So Doogie somehow held a launch event for the Doogie V but the phone was never there. So I, I don't even think you can call that a launch event, right? You can just say it's a press event like with a news announcement or something, like a press conference. You can't call it a launch event when there's no phone to test. And then here we are now, late July, almost August, five months after Mobile World Congress, and the phone is still nowhere to be found. The phone is not ready because Doogie says they ran into supplier problems with the underscreen fingerprint reader. So who knows when that phone's gonna come out? But the point is, Doogie held a, I advertised a launch event in February, tricked a lot of journalists to show up, and then turns out there was no product to launch. And then now five months later, it's still not ready. And same with the Doogie Mix 3 and 4. They introduced the Doogie Mix 3 and 4 with this crazy concept design, and it got a lot of media attention. Like, um, I believe Mashable wrote a piece on it, and some other sites wrote about it too, and then Mr. Who's the Boss did the whole video to Doogie Mix 3. But again, it's been five months and the phones are not here. And to be honest, they're probably not going to be ready for years. So what is Doogie doing here? They, they're just kind of introducing these crazy looking products in the form of a photo. They're showing you photos of these crazy looking products and saying, um, this is coming soon, but the soon, it's like completely flexible. It could be soon as in like a year from now. So this is kind of like an attention grabbing scheme, right? So imagine if other companies did this. Imagine if Samsung right now invites um, journalists to an event and they call it a launch of the foldable Galaxy X phone. Everyone goes there and it turns out Samsung only has photos to show you of the phone. They, the phone is not ready yet. It's not, there's no product to test. And turns out the phone might not even come out until 2020. But then right now we have a launch event for the phone. So like, what the fuck, you know? So you know what, Doogie? They send me a lot of stuff to test and I'm grateful for it, but I have to keep honest. I have to call it like it is. Doogie needs to be a little bit more transparent and honest with what they do. Like obviously they had the whole brouhaha a year ago when, when they advertised a larger battery than what was inside. And then now like you can't just hold a launch event for a phone that isn't even ready, that's not finished and there's no even prototype to test. And everybody that reported on a Doogie V, The Verge wrote about it too. The Verge, Mashable, everybody that made a video of the Doogie V, Doogie Mix 4, you, you all got played. The phone is not ready and who knows when it's gonna be ready. Anyway, that that's my brand. Um yeah, congrats to Doogie for the fifth anniversary. And this phone, pretty cool I guess, but I can't even get it to work. Thanks for watching.